Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to frost a tall cake. This is Sinchon on Space theme cake and I'll be showing you how I frosted this. So as you can see here, I have already uh, baked and layered the cakes. Let's begin with the frosting. I have the ganache, which is uh, chocolate and cream already prepared. And I'm just putting a dollop at a time and just layering it. Just take little at a time. You don't need too much because there are certain things that you need to remember when you're making a tall cake. And that is exactly why I made this video. This is not exactly a tutorial video, but there are certain aspects of a tall cake that you really need to remember, which is frosting each layer with appropriate amount of ganache. It's very, very important that you do not overload your cake with ganache. Otherwise, what will happen is as you stack up the layers, your bottom layers are going to go flat. They are going to sink. Yes, you heard me correct because layer upon layer, we are going to be putting more and more ganache and more and more cakes. So the taller it gets, the heavier it's going to get. So you really, really need to keep a good balance of cake and ganache in proper ratios so that you don't overload those bottom layers. Because if you can see very carefully, I'm just taking little at a time, making sure that there is equal amount of ganache in each layering. At the same time, the amount of pressure that I'm applying while frosting that layer is also very, very important. You don't need to do a very, very firm pressure and your cake might sink on one side. So it's very, very important that you frost it properly level it out and then you place the cake and then you put a little bit of firm pressure on top not too much okay because we don't want those bottom layers to go flat so the higher you go the lesser pressure you apply it's very 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 important guys so if you're watching this video you need to really see how i'm doing the procedure rather than you know um uh, just following my instructions I think it's much more uh, it's much it's gonna be much better if you just see how I'm layering how I'm flattening it out and how much ratio of ganache I'm putting on each layer see because it has to be equal Now I'll be inserting four dowels into this cake. Normally two dowels are sufficient, but because this cake was gonna travel more than 15 kilometers, I had to put four dowels. Just insert it, pull it up a little bit, cut it to the point that it's marked and just push it in. That's it, very simple. And this really makes sure that your layers don't slip out of each other and the cake stands sturdy. So putting dowels in your tall cake or tire cake is one of the most crucial parts of baking. After I've, uh, I'm done inserting the dowels, I'll just flatten out the top because I don't want to keep these holes open. So I'm just going to flatten out the surface and then I'm going to freeze the cake and later on I'll take it out and I'll complete the frosting. And of course, you can already see the finished cake. As you saw in the beginning, it was a space theme cake. So I finished it with whipped cream frosting i have not done the complete video on how to complete the frosting with whipped cream and the color shading 
i will be doing another video on this but before that there were certain things about the tall cake that i really needed to share with all of you and that is the first and foremost reason that i made this video so thank you so much for watching